Princess Serena, not Princess Serena. And today we are at the Fan Expo. I sadly missed the first live Canadian pin event today, but it is totally worth it because I'm having the time of my life with my friend over here that shall not be filmed. <laughs> here we are. <laughs> um, Sophia, biggest fan over here. Um, she'll make an appearance one day, I promise. So without further ado, let's get into it. The Fan Expo merch, the shops before all the shops. Everyone had such cool costumes and I dressed up as none other than Regina Mills from Once Upon a Time. There were aisles upon aisles of fan merch. Oh, where's Waldo? I think I found him. It was so surreal seeing all the fandoms kind of together and their logo basically represented that. Okay, they had real swords like representing characters and stuff and Funko Pops galore and lounge fly bags and of course pin bags and pin books i may have missed the pin meet but the pin meet definitely did not miss me so these are all non-disney pins what i was most excited about were all the super mario pins i see the question mark there there are minecraft pins like there are pins of everything why am i even surprised at this point to be honest this vendor was literally called Pins and Things, which is the cutest name ever. Are you kidding me? And it was really smart. So they put Velcro behind the backer cards and then in the pin book. So then they got to keep them all on their backers and they stayed. And oh my goodness, I see Peach on the other page there on a Mario Kart. That is so cute. And then it matches the Toad. And what the heck? Toad is cheaper than Peach. I would be Toad over Peach any day. Are you kidding? Okay. He was like my go-to guy playing Mario Kart back in the day. Back in the day. Played a week ago. No. <laughs> and wow that is a huge pin star trek i haven't seen a star trek pin it's always star wars although you know i'm used to disney pins more i've literally gotten that yoda pin speaking of star wars for a trade before i traded for a trade look at this pin which one Oh my god, that's really cool. Yoshi. The Mario Kart set is so cute. Hello, little peek at my outfit and the pins that I bought. And there was a whole other pin book as well. Now we're in my friend's territory because she's a pro button collector. She has 42 buttons and counting because I'm sure she's gonna order more soon. And she got more from this video and she was geeking out. Oh my goodness, and so was I with this Bill Cipher pin. It's so nice seeing Gravity Falls merch. I've always wanted to do custom things on the spot. Like I've made custom things online before, but like making it in front of you within 10 minutes, it's just such a cool concept to me. And masks, I was like, okay, let's do it. So there's mine. I told her a black background. So she's cutting it up and making sure it's all Photoshop good. I'm so excited. All right, we are done in there. I have my fake apple as per my Regina Mills look, of course. I will insert a photo of my look. I think I look pretty snazzy if I do say so myself. So let's check back and see what I got and what my friend got because she got quite the haul as well. All right, we are back. It is not currently the same day because I needed a few moments or days to process how amazing that event was and how amazing it felt to dress like regina mills are you kidding me aka the evil queen herself i kind of forgot i owned this um i should have worn it but also not really because technically i was regina and not like her uh enchanted forest kind of look with the crown but anyways um for you once upon a time casuals here that don't know what it's really about anyway um sorry fangirling here i was supposed to meet lana paria but she unfortunately canceled a few days before but i still had the time of my life looking at everybody's costumes i will put some over here for you guys to look at like wow they did that okay wow like i was so impressed it was so cool seeing them all in person and um no but dressing up as the regina mills like i felt so fierce so empowered in that pantsuit i am so happy i own a pantsuit now i actually bought it just for this but i know i'm gonna wear it like in the future and stuff so it's okay my friend also dressed up as her as well but she kind of did the opposite i did like 
a black blazer with a red top and she did a red blazer with a black top. It was cool. It's kind of like we were inside out. It's kind of like the theme of like once upon a time with like blackened hearts and red hearts and I don't know. I think the color scheming was amazing too and it's also something she would wear so it's perfect. Um, but yeah, of course, as you saw already, I got lots of pins. Oh, I missed the pin event but I still went to an event and got pins. So hey, there's that. So the first pin I got, I actually pre-ordered <laughs> like when I got my ticket because I didn't want to take a chance that it was going to sell out. It's the Fan Expo exclusive pin that like commemorates the event and I already put it on my travel board so let me just go get that. All right, so here it is. It says 2021 limited edition Fan Expo Canada just because normally they release more tickets but because of COVID protocol and stuff, it was limited. Although it was still pretty crowded so I can't even imagine how crowded it usually would be and I was honestly so surprised like going it was like a lot of people going in at once of course but it's like you could enter at whatever time but still we went towards like the beginning of the event and there was a lot of people and I never had to stop once like there were a bunch of stations and everything and I was so organized and like I am impressed and as soon as I got this pin, I immediately put it on my pin bag, which I put all of my Regina Mills and Evil Queen pins, which I will show you here. I showed on my Instagram, but here's a better photo of it. I was too excited to post it, so I just posted the photo that I took there, but I took one after the fact. And I couldn't even fathom how beautiful the bag was. So I couldn't even take it like before, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it all fit nicely. It took me an hour to arrange. Like I just wanted it to look perfect. And I didn't even leave that space for this pin on purpose. Like it just worked out. And this is the pass. It's cool. So you had tickets like printed online, but I love physical tickets. Um, if you've seen my pin scrapbook video, you know that I'm a scrapbook person. So of course I have another one for like non pin things. It says United by Fandom. Fan Expo, Saturday, it's cool. And then you see like Spider-Man and Wolverine and like all the fandoms, I love that. I think that's so pretty. I love their logo. Honestly, everything that you could pre-order had the logo but the pin, I'm pretty sure. And the masks, the masks were kind of just like Spider-Man and stuff like that. And uh, speaking of masks though, you saw I was making a custom mask there with an apple. What is that? Well, once upon a time, of course. There was a few once upon a time merch items there, like posters and stuff, but I didn't really need. As you can see, like my walls are already preoccupied. I immediately thought to do the apple just because of the once upon a time poster of Regina with the apple there. So I think it's perfect that like, it makes the apple like a part. It's kind of like you see my eyes just like her and then there's the logo, so. I think that is absolutely perfect. And I could do black or white, but obviously black fits the vibes a lot better. Okay, so I made sure it's adjustable before I bought it. And they're like, yeah. So it came with these little things. And then you had to put it on yourself, but it was, <laughs> tell me, it took me like 40 minutes to get them on. I definitely probably didn't put it on the way you're supposed to, but you know, it worked out nonetheless because one side is like, you know, a pretty big hole, but then the other side is like this small. So like, you know, it doesn't fall off. So I'm like, how the heck do you put it through? But I think I used like an elastic or a bobby pin. I don't know. I tried everything and I finally figured it out. Um, but yeah, it's adjustable and it works and it fits me. And, and I cannot wait to wear this. And then the pin booth, which there were pins a lot of other places. I wasn't filming towards the beginning. I just wanted to like explore and really like be there. But there were lots of anime pins that didn't show like a lot. They were really, really pretty and hard enamel. I just don't watch anime, so I didn't get any of those. And thank goodness I don't because like my collection can't take much more. <laughs> You know, if I really like something, I make it work clearly with my Once Upon a Time collections. I got Pac-Man bins. I used to, used to, I still love, I wanna play Pac-Man, I just don't have the game. But growing up, I used to have a little like joystick that you could connect in the TV and then like it actually lets you play and I finally got past the banana. It was very exciting. The cherry is the first one, which is why there's a cherry. I love it, it's soft enamel. And so it's gonna go on my pink board over there full of like my childhood, I draw my mask. I actually already have a Pac-Man pin, um, but it's of the console, not of like the characters and stuff. Oh, I love how they have like both versions of the ghosts when you could like eat them because you had the pill. It's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love this set so much. And it's on its own like backer card, like it says Pac-Man. So it's like licensed with them, I guess. 
I got Toad playing Mario Kart. Mario Kart, you don't understand, was like my game. And I already have a Mario Kart pin that my friend got me for my birthday a couple of years ago. Thanks, Mary, and if you're watching, love it. And it's like a spinner element. They had Peach, they had, I think they had Boo, they had Mario, Luigi, they had Yoshi. And I kind of just had to be like, Serena, you have no room, take a deep breath. <laughs> but I had to do Toad because one, I don't have a Toad pin yet. I already have Yoshi and Mario and Luigi. I don't have Boo or Peach, but I was usually either Yoshi or Toad. I went through different phases of what characters I was my go-to during the game, and Toad was one for a while, and Toadette. There is a Toadette if you're not familiar, she is pink. It would look so cute to have like all the characters together in their cars, but you know, I am proud, just got one of them probably regret it real soon once who knows maybe i'll like downsize a collection and i'll have room and i'll be like oh what could have been you know so that's it for my little haul but don't go anywhere because my better half of the haul she has really cool things technically pin related button you saw she was looking at the buttons she's a harry potter and disney fanatic and you are gonna be in love with the merch she got it's really really cool it was really cool like going around the tables and like She's in some of the same fandoms as me, but like a lot of different ones as well. And I love that stuff. Like even if I'm not a part of it, I love just looking at it and like I learn so much and I'm just gonna let her take it away. So Sophia, what did you get? Hey everyone, it's Sophia here. So Serena just asked me to do a bit of an overview of all the merch that I bought at Fan Expo this weekend. So as you can see, I have two Harry Potter wands, a ticket to the Hogwarts Express, three music boxes, and three button pins to show you today. So I'm gonna start with my wands, and the first one I'm gonna show you is Newt's Commander's Wand from the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them series. So this is his wand that I'm showing you now, and I absolutely adore this wand because it's not a perfect looking wand. It's got some scratches and dents and cracks in it, which I really, really love because it suits his character so much. He's a magizoologist, so he works outside with magical creatures. The handle, it's a little bit shiny, it goes in a little bit, and it looks a little bit like a shell. And the rumor is, is that it's a mother of pearl. But of course, that's a rumor, unconfirmed. But I really like that theory, to be honest. It still has a metal core inside it. So apparently they've started taking out the metal core inside of the official wands, which I find kind of sad because I really like the weight that it gives the wand. It just makes it feel a little bit more authentic. These aren't officially licensed wands, but they look so similar to the official ones. I think I can live without the TM on the side just to have the wand on display. So the second wand I have is for a character named Remus Lupin. Now Remus Lupin is a character from the Harry Potter original series. Um, if you've watched the Prisoner of Azkaban movie or you've read the book, you'll remember he happened to be friends with Harry Potter's father and godfather. They were like a little group along with this other guy who I won't mention because I don't like him. And they were called the Marauders. So I have a collection of the Marauders wands, except for the one I don't like. And this was the last one I needed to complete my set. I love this handle. Just, it's just really cute. I don't know why I find it so cute. It's just I love that it's just a little ball. And there's just like these little grooves right here. And the rest of the wand is so simple. The coloring, it's just, it goes from like a darker sort of brown to a lighter color at the tip. Of course, Serena can tell you about how picky I am with how these wands look. We spent quite a bit of time looking through each of the wands that they had of these two, just figuring out which one looked the most perfect and uh, similar to the actual official trademarked wand. We pulled up pictures and everything because I am that particular with my wands. This came with them because I bought two wands. And I love this because like, I don't know if you could see, but it's shiny. And I love, I love anything with a little bit of a shine or a shimmer. So I can put that on display with my wands. 
which I'm super happy about. The last I need to show you that's Harry Potter related are my button pins. First one I'm gonna show you is this one and this is a quote from Hermione Granger in there and it says, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And I just love this. It's just, it's classic Hermione from the Philosopher's Stone, the first movie. I just need, I needed that. I saw it, I started laughing and I said, I had to have this. The next pin I'm gonna show you is my Mischief Managed pin. Now this is something that comes from the Marauders. It's how you close the Marauders map, which is the map created by Harry Potter's father, his godfather, and Mr. Remus Lupin, whose wand I just bought. And I just love that it has like the little footprints from the map. It has the design from the map on there. And I was gonna get the I solemnly swear I'm up to no good one, which is how you open the map. However, I have the Marauders map kind of in a pin already, so I didn't want to get a doubles. So I just went with Mischief Managed because I love that. So the last one I'm going to show you is a quote from a character named Luna Lovegood. And I suspect the Nargles are behind it. So she just believes in a bunch of weird creatures that nobody else really believes in. But sometimes they actually turn out to be true and she ends up being right about quite a few things. I just love this because it's such an offhand comment. Like, you really have to see the movies and the context of this quote to make it even funnier. But I also really love the colors on this because it's so bright. And a lot of my Harry Potter pins are a lot darker, which I love. I needed to break up the dark colors with a little bit of, you know, whites and yellows and purples or pinks, whichever color that is. <laughs> so the last thing I'm going to show you today are my music boxes that I bought. The first one I'm going to show you is, of course, the Winnie the Pooh one because Disney related content. So I just had to have this music box. I love these little music boxes, the little wood ones. I just think they're so adorable. But then I saw this one and I was like, look at the carving on that. I just love it. It says Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to turn it over and look at that. It's got Winnie the Pooh and Piglet carved into the side. Look at little Piglet sweeping the leaves. We've got Winnie the Pooh just going for some honey. Pooh and his friends. We've got Piglet, Pooh Bear, Tigger, and Eeyore just, just chilling. They're looking up at something, but they look adorable, and I just absolutely adore it. Look how cute he is with, like, this leaf over his head. And I just love that it's all, like, etched in there. I love that. So now we're going to actually go and look <laughs> inside it. Look at this. Pooh Bear in the balloons. I'm going to play it for you so you can hear the Winnie the Pooh theme. And I love the design on this too, even though it doesn't really have to do with what, <laughs> what this actually plays. This is just like the classic design on these ones. So I'm just gonna show you. When you open it up, I'm not like a super huge fan of The Godfather. This one isn't actually for me. <laughs> this is a gift, but I love this design because just, I don't know if you could tell, but it's lifted. It kind of reminds me of Serena's pin on pin element <laughs> that she always talks about. So I love that this kind of has that same sort of vibe and it's just all etched into the wood. This plays The Godfather theme which is actually a really pretty theme for the type of movie that it is. And this is the last music box that I bought. So I know it looks very similar to the Godfather one. It does play a different song, another fandom that I'm a part of. So this one is the Lord of the Rings and I, I love this. I just love the design and I love the silhouette of the fellowship. If you've watched The Hobbit or The Lord of the Rings, you're probably thinking of that like opening theme song there, the really light one. It doesn't really play that one, which one day I am going to try and add that to my collection because I really love that theme too. 
But this one actually plays the theme of when they're journeying over the mountains. But I really love it too because, of course, I just love the music of The Lord of the Rings. That's a great soundtrack. So that's it for everything that I bought at Fan Expo this weekend. Thank you again to Serena for coming with me and having such an awesome day out. I had so much fun going through the whole Fan Expo with you and shopping for merch. And I hope that you had as much fun as I did. Wasn't that so cool? Like, come on. I would love to know in the comments below what your favorite thing I got or that my friend got. And if you've ever been to an event like this, like Comic Con, a fan expo or anything like that. And if you haven't already, please subscribe for more pin related content from me every Tuesday. And I hope to do more vlogs like this in the future. I honestly don't know what the next one's gonna be. Hopefully a Canadian pin trading event. I would love to take you guys on one as well. And as always, take care of yourselves and have a magic magical day. Bye. And remember, you're all queens in your own right. <laughs>